And here's a live picture looking west outside the Gateway Arch. Check out that beautiful horizon line this evening. It is John Fuller's favorite view and my favorite weather, John. <laughs> yeah, I think 99% of the folks, our listeners, viewers, would agree. It is perfect. You, you know, you have cool nights and warm days today, a little bit below normal. But over the weekend, we're going to spike back into warmer than normal temperatures after a quick cool down tonight. And what makes this stretch of fall weather even better, not only is it timely, it's coming off a nice soaking rain. Now we have the drought monitor and two thirds of the United States on the dry side. This does not incorporate the uh, Monday evening rainfall that gave us a good soaking. But these numbers do. We're now for the month 2.98 almost two thirds of an inch above normal for the year, almost five inches above normal. So we've had timely rain. There is a little bit of a bump as we mentioned, but it's very minor and you'll probably go unnoticed by a lot of folks because we'll see some spot rain showers possible about one o'clock to four o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning, not tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. So the Friday night football games will be in place and done and uh, a lot of the fairs and festivals will be, uh, well, pretty much finished for the evening. We do have a new tropical storm. Sam, look at this. It's going to get up to a Category 3 in the open Atlantic, precariously close to Bermuda. And we'll have to see beyond that as we go forward where it might impact the mid-Atlantic states. But this time of year, they get cut off by cold fronts and that shunts them out into the Atlantic. There you see the next front that will arrive tomorrow night late. Ahead of it, it warms up. So expect highs tomorrow near 80 degrees, then a brief cool down, then a big warm up. Local temperatures have chilled back. Chesterfield, that cool air sink, 61 there, Defiant 62, 63, Jellystone Park. The official observation from our budget heating, cooling, and plumbing rooftop camera, 68, winds north-northwest, so there will be radiational cooling tonight. Coolest morning since uh, late May for many of the outlying areas, Lambert 51, high today 74, the average high is 79. Quick check of the allergy numbers, only mold is on the high side. So that closed low continues to swirl and twirl across the eastern Great Lakes. Here comes the cool front. Four o'clock, we'll start to see the clouds increase after a bright and sunny morning. Some spot rain showers will clip our northeastern counties, maybe even drift into the metro area. Then we're clear and sunny for the rest of the weekend and, in fact, the next several days. Ahead of that front, it gets nice and warm, up to 81 degrees. After a chilly night tonight, 55 degrees, you'll be able to open up those windows subtly. Tomorrow, mostly sunny by day, then some spotty night, late night rain, high of 81 degrees. Friday night football, no rain anticipated. Wildwood days should be fantastic for that too. And the extended forecast, Saturday clearing skies, becoming mostly sunny, 77 degrees. Then a stretch of summer-like weather, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, with highs 85 to 90 degrees, nighttime lows in the mid-60s, and then partly cloudy Thursday and Friday as we cool down once again, Mike.